Hey, happy Easter to all my dear brothers and sisters, families all around. And also, good Friday to my uh, copy brothers and Orthodox and so many others. You know, it's so beautiful to really see the family of God. Uh, you know, how big and huge is our family. Yes, let's sing hallelujah to the Lord because he opened the tomb. When he opened the tomb, that means, my dear friends, you know, don't worry about coronavirus or don't worry about anything because now is the time you, you, my dear ones, you are to question the validity of all this virus and vicious attack and all the disasters that's going on around us and say, hey, death, where is your victory, right? I mean, you know, let's re really, uh, again, you know, let's rise and shine because it is our time. And, you know, uh, I have a beautiful clip later on. You're going to see, you're going to watch that. It is a place where uh, the bridegroom uh, wooing the runaway bride. <laughs> you will get it, okay? The bridegroom is wooing the runaway bride. The runaway bride, as we all and you're going to see that place where he was lifted up higher. And, you know, higher and higher and higher. And he really, uh, he, my friends, you know, he really blessed every one of us to engage in his business. You know, as fishers of men, as shepherds, uh, you know, fivefold ministers, let's club together. And, you know, my sister's ready to pray for you and for me to every one of us okay yeah please i mean son and the holy spirit hallelujah thank you fountain of all the blessings you are the we family. worship you we honor you father yes indeed Lord. you're risen thank indeed you, you're you. risen in our hearts our mind thank and our you, soul father. lord you open, you open the, the tomb lord, yes you, father you open the floodgate of heaven oh, and yes. pour your blessing upon Every one of my oh, brothers and you, sisters yes, you're doing who's it. watching us right now, Father. Thank Do it you, right Father. now, Lord. Do it right now, Master. Thank you for Walk hearing with us right. Thank you. Wash everyone with Thanks, your Father. immaculate precious blood. Thank you, Father. And you shed it on the cross yes, for Lord. each and every one of us, Master. Walk with us, Master. Yes, walk with us, Father. Thank everyone you, dear God. Who's watching. Yes, Thank Father. You, Open Lord. our heart, Father. Open our heart. To receive you in, in our mind and our soul, Thank Master. You, Lord. Thank yes. you, dear God. Thank you for your wonderful. Open the treasure hand, Lord Jesus. Open your treasure hand, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank yes. you, dear God. Thank you. Open the sea, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Everything. You open, open. yes, Lord. Yes, Thank Lord. you. Thank what you, you did. Mighty oceans you opened. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you for the mighty oceans, Father. You, you opened, opened for each and every us one of us, Master. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We honor him and bless you, Father, for every Thank blessing. You, Lord. Yes. Come from you alone, Master. Thank you, Father. We pray at this moment for all my brothers and sisters. Bring the Father, healing, Lord. Thank let you. Let your healing be upon them. Yes. Those who are in the hospital, Father. Yes. The virus cannot touch any one of the my holy brothers name and sisters, of Jesus. Father. Thank yes, you, Father. Lord. Touch them right now as we are praying. Yes. With we your nail piercings, the power Father. Of the enemy. We bring them out, Father. We destroy yes. the assignments of destroy Satan. Thank you. Destroy the assignment of the enemy, Satan. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Satan, Jesus. Master. Thank you. Invisible enemy. Invisible Thank enemy, you. You Master. Have nothing to do with pray us. Pray for the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, and all. All those who are working in the hospital, all over Father, the world. Thank everyone you, all over the world, Father, reach and touch them, Father. Even we are praying, Lord. and Thank their you, families please. also. We pray for them, Lord Jesus, yes. in all the one, Father. We bring every one of them, Father. Let them receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank receive you. your healing. Jesus. You resurrected Jesus, Father. Receive your healing in the, in the heart and mind, Father. Thank, Thank you, dear you, God. Father. Pray, pray for our mother church. Pray for. Father, pray for our network, our CEO, our staff, and their families. Pray for America. Pray for our president. And pray for my brother, Father. Anoint Thank you, Lord. him. Thank anoint you. him, Father, to speak your good news. Thank you, and I Father. ask all this in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 My friends, you know, remember I was saying that a bridegroom was wooing the bride. Who is the bride? You know, who is the bride? You know, you and I are the bride. Anyone who accepted the Lord as their Savior, the Messiah is no more in the books of the Tanakh. He is no more in the Kedivim. 
is no no more in the Nevim, okay? Is no more in the Torah. He is now in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. He is working day and night for you, interceding. How beautiful it is, my dear friends. He really want to make everything new. Remember, you know, he said he called you by a name. And Isaiah 43, 1 onwards, 1 to 6, I called you by your name. He has chosen us. And you know, the flood will not drown you. The water is not going to get you anymore. My dear friends, you know, the fire is all around. It's not going to send you because he knows your name. Because same chapter, Isaiah 43, 24, 24, 26, he says, I make everything new. Remind my word. That's why you know we're remi reminding his voice. His words is eternal. Whoever believe in his eternal word, you know, they found salvation, right? Whoever accepted this great sal uh, salvific message that Christ brought, okay? John chapter 1, verse 1 to 14. Remember, my friends, whoever received him as a savior, as a sovereign Lord, as a sovereign King, the great mighty prophet, the high priest after Melchizedek. If you believe in this, you know what? You earned your doctorate degree. Okay, my dear friends, if you really understand that. So again, my friends, you know, we are in this Easter season. That's why, you know, is risen indeed. Is risen indeed, yes. You will raise us up again. You know, everyone war in the tomb. Wherever you are listening to me, my dear friends, you are in the tomb. It's not the time for the church to be under, okay? It is a time to rise and shine. Isaiah chapter 6, he was 1 to 4. Rise and shine because it's your day. It's my day to reveal this uh, refulgence, glory of God. Glory of God is taken away. And the glory of God, you know, after the resurrection, you know, my friend, the diffusion glory walks looking for his bride. Even though the bride, you know, after entered the covenant, remember the covenant, the last final covenant, what was the last final covenant? Upper room. Remember that upper room, my dear friends? How soon the disciples have forgotten everything. How soon, my dear friends? They're all now quarantined. They're all hunkered down. And, you know, even though, you know, the woman folks said, he's no more there in the tomb. Did they believe? No. Come on, did they believe? No. They never believed. And now what? Jesus follows them. And you have to read, my dear friends, in uh, Luke chapter 24, the last chapters, okay, uh, in the synaptic gospel as well, you know, in uh, John. You know, you have to really take uh, Luke chapter 24, read. And then again, you know, Matthew chapter 28, read it from one onwards. You can really see, you won't miss the empty tomb. You will, you will see all the drama that is unfolding. And, you know, they don't want to believe. You know, the woman said, you know, they thought the woman are saying babblers. They thought they are nonsense, you know. No, they speak sense. They speak much sense, you know. The majority of, majority who with me are the woman in power, okay. So any of our friends, you know, I praise God. You know, they are, look at the tenacious faith of this woman. And you are seeing now today, uh, as the Lord, you know, when they're all disappointed, they're all run for their life, what happened? And, you know, here, the bridegroom, after, after risen, okay, after he came out of the tomb, gloriously, you know, now it was a glorious form. I mean, when the house was shut, he was there, right? When they never had peace, and, and you know, he said, peace be with you. Yes. And you know what? You know, when they, with all their mind is what? Ghost, ghost, take that away from you. Take that whale from you, my dear friend. Take that whale away. You know, if you don't understand this Redeemer, I mean, you know, still Paul says in Second Corinthians chapter 3, verses of 14 to 17, a whale is upon us. It's not only about our Jewish brothers, there's a whale upon them. It need to be taken away. And of course, he revealed to his one, the one rejects it. And my dear friends, you know, I'll let Sheila read what happened after the conversation. Here, you know, this couple are walking away. 
remember they walk it away i mean the dissident group started already the division started already i mean here is a group and you know up there in jerusalem now two of them are what they are leaving to mrs okay they never expected there is something waiting i mean my dear friends you know you really have to really read that from 13 chapter 24 verse 13 onwards read it it's worth reading it because you're hearing the voice of the shepherd the magnanimous voice of the shepherd you hear all this man jarring voice and you will not get anything and you're confused and you know like people in the quarantine time what is happening now you know binge drinking drug depressed and you know what what else is happening violent quarreling jetting profanity i mean you know uh porn man what is happening in spite of everything is there a time for us you know is do you think this this is we going to be in this world forever always why somebody has to come and die in your place ignominious death my dear friends you know any how i let chiller read it you know you guys read it he, he walks with him and you know unfortunately there was a blind eye on that's not his problem because you know the enemy of this world the invisible enemy my dear friend the prince of this world has blinded the folks all around the world even today that's you know second corinthians chapter 1 to 4 you know what happened now you know even the believers who accepted the lord who saw everything and even the very woman you know they they said hey is no more we saw him but did they believe no now you know just see jesus after you know he's is saying like you know you foolish slow to heart slow of heart dull hearted guys dummies dummies for jesus that's what he called i didn't you just check check there I mean you know my friends you know then after uh, re, uh, you know it was taking from you know I'll let Chilla read uh, Chilla please uh, go to uh, Luke chapter 24 verse 7 onward or uh, 27 and beginning with the Moses and the prophets he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning him as they approached the village to which Jesus were going Jesus continued on as if okay. they were going farther and then you know what you guys read it then afterwards they they have to this couple has to force them because there were there was a nudge there was a wooing you know bridegroom is wooing you know there was a burning sensation uh, there is a spiritual ecstasy going on my friend and you know as soon as you know they said please you need to come in please come in you watch you read Then you know when he went there he broke the bread what happened and their he, eyes were open. open their eyes were open my dear friends and, and you know what nice. remember you know, the word that become flesh. flesh and you know remember the upper room is continuing you know remember the reflection of the cross and the calvary will be our as long as it is you know you will walk around and you will be in our midst he said he promised that you know if two or three gather in my name matthew chapter 18 was 18 to 20 any of my friends you know he said he's going to be in our midst following verses you just read it you know they were so confused they didn't understand anything but he had to breathe them again and he had to show his nail mark he said touch me feel me you know what the bones you know what born the ghost doesn't have born in flesh my dear friends you know i i i, I remind, remind you remember uh, in uh, you know uh, elisha is remember elisha dead body remember that and when a marauder you know threw a dead body there of a young man what happened is oh my gosh the dead prophets born as power and here it is Who is this? Is greater than all the prophets. The greater than all the prophets, greater than all the priests, greater than all the men in the world, greater than the pope, greater than all the men around the world you watch, okay? And here he's saying touch me. Touch me and feel me because he was telling you and me 
we he is our bridegroom we are all longing for that bright touch the touch of the bridegroom you know paul says and he reiterates in ephesians chapter 5 verses 26 to 32 read it just like you know husband and wife how they're together you know he's saying the same way jesus is the head and we the body of christ are together in one accord we work in this world you know we are not worried about the invisible power and the forces of the enemy you know paul says in ephesians chapter 6 i don't have time verse 10 onwards please read it for yourself 10 you see, you can see all the invisible enemy in so many sizes and shape and they're going to be there you know don't really you need to know this i mean you know don't stop with the virus and you know go back and do your own stuff go don't go back to your own square one stuff you know my friends you know that's what happened to the disciples again john chapter 21 i let you read verse man my time is flying or verse 11 you can see now again third time he is appearing christ is appearing and how many disciples are there there were seven but you know what now we you know what they have the empty border and the empty net right yes. empty dumpty is there on a wall right my dear friends same old same old going back to the square one and see what happened you know Sim- 11 simon peter climbed back into the boat and dragged the net ashore it was full of large fish 150 oh my friends you know read further they found 153 fish large as well as the small oh. so you know what is that large and the small my dear friends what is the large and the small you know i will let my uh director roll that for you and i will continue you know i will let chilla read second chronicle chapter 2 verse 18 see this is the place where everything is winding up this is the place you know from jerusalem jesus is walking and revealing himself in such a tangible way my dear friend tangible way but yet you know their eyes were not open you know he opened he opened the scriptures and he breathed upon them saying like you know my gosh you know like i created you in the image I mean my image remember adam was created right in the garden word uh, genesis chapter 22 20 i am sorry chapter 2 verses 23 to 27 please read for yourself my dear friends He said to the Eve when he created what he said deep sleep who came flesh of my flesh and bone of my bone and you know you this is the place you can watch and I let you la read from Jerusalem here Jesus walks and you know mm-hmm. just can you please read uh, second chronicles 2:18 David had taken and they have found to be 153000 second chronicle chapter 2 verse 18 yes. my dear friend assigned 70000 of them to be carriers and 80000 to be stone cutters one cutters. temple remember you're watching the area the temple is not there you know solomon how many years he built the temple seven years my dear friends how many people they needed to build the temple you know shila said can you read that how many people he needed stone cutters yeah, i mean yeah 70000 okay 80000 stone cutters stone cutters and uh, 300 1600 Oh yeah men. they need a supervisors yeah. oh my gosh you know what how many uh, if you calculate if you guys are mad genius you know take that and just 70 80 and uh, 3000 you know what 18 a word yes 153 153000 and there is something the lord is saying now how, how many fish 153 oh my friend you never heard from any one look at the revelation look at what the lord is doing and he's telling what every one of us you know to be the fishermen oh my dear friends you know he calls his disciples and you know they went back to fishing but he said look i am ca- calling you to be the fishers of men you know i let you read if they don't go what happened there is a cruel net already spread all over the world and i let you read uh abacuc the prophet see you can watch all this place how you just man all this thing this is the place you know everything happened and you can watch us we are praying 
constantly with vigil. My family is praying, and you know, up on this Mount of Olives, and you know, we are walking to around that Emmaus area where you know we get so much of insight. We are sharing with you, my reverence. You know, can you read that? You have made people like the fish in the sea. Like the sea creatures. Look at what Habakkuk the prophet is saying. What is happening today yes. in our days? Keep reading, Sheila. Creatures that have no ruler. The wicked foe pulls all of them up with hooks. He catches them in his net. He gathers them up in his dragnet. This so is the place, Sheila. He, he is lifted up to heaven. Yeah, keep reading, please. And he's glad. Therefore, he sacrifices to the net and burns incense. You have to be, head. yes, come on, For louder his, again. His, what he does? What he does? He it, burns. He burns and what? He sends to his dragnet. By his net, he lives in luxury and oh enjoys the choicest food. Can you imagine his, dis, the last word, Does nations? He keep on emptying his net, destroying nations. Destroying the nations. Without mercy. Coronavirus all around the world, all around the nations. Without, if we don't go, mercy. if the church has to go in the forefront, we don't have to preach, you know, ecological gospel. No more ecological, psychological gospel, no more. My dear friends, Communist manifesto, we don't need it, my dear friends. We don't need Pachamama. We don't need all this stuff. We need to proclaim Christ yes. is risen. You yes. know, yes. without yes. that, there is no meaning of Christianity. Otherwise, you know, don't call yourself a follower of Christ. You know, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 5, as well as just go read it, verses 44 and 45. If Christ is not your bridegroom he is not the one who resurrected as you promised and you know we need to call on other name my dear friends you know please you know let's really stop all this uh, you know we are preaching a different gospel you know paul uh, reiterates and he condemns people in galatians chapter one you guys read it from chapter three verse one to nine again again chapter five verse one to five Please read for yourself. We cannot preach another gospel. We don't have another gospel. We don't have another Christ. So only we have to proclaim Christ. As Peter proclaimed, the first pope, you know, Acts chapter 4, verse 12, we need to stay there. And the entire body of Christ should build on that confession. You know, with that confession, you know, Jesus Christ is the Lord, right? Matthew chapter 16, 16 to 21. You know, the, when Peter was trying to dissuade him not to hear about his death and the resurrection, the Lord said to Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Please make sure you are being called to proclaim the good news. That's the only good news. Romans chapter 1 verse 16 onwards. Please read it. If you don't proclaim that good news to the world and see what happens, read from 16 onwards. And you will know what is happening all around. You know, it is a strange gospel. It's a new age gospel. My dear friends, it's, it's an ecological gospel. It's a gender biased gospel. All kind of gospel, you know, as will be all around. Polluting like virus. The sin virus is everywhere. We need the sun virtue. Can you allow the sun to take over your family, your church, your nations? Everywhere, we all need the sun to reign over us. My sister said, open your hearts. Open, let him rule over us. Yes. The king of glory. Who is the king of glory? Jesus. You know, Jesus Christ. You know, Psalm 24. Read for yourself. Because my dear friends, you know, here, you know, he has done everything for you. He has paid a price. You know, Mark chapter 10, verse 45. And what else are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? He has done everything. Call upon his name. What did he say? I, I will, will answer you. you. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14. Let not your heart be, be troubled. Trouble. Chapter 14, verse 1. No peace, right? No peace. Chapter 14, verse 27. There is peace in his name. His name is called Prince of Peace. peace. We need, the world needs it. He is a great position, my dear friends. You know, all power and authority. What did he say? To Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 and 20. When they're all so disgruntled, they can't believe. What did he say? Hey, all power. 
is given in my hand. All power and all authority. Go you therefore. Preach. Proclaim my name, my name, and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Behold, I'm with you. We're not going to change any doctrines. You know, yeah, we're not going to. We're not going to mitigate. We're not going to fight with this. Forever and ever, you know, Jesus Christ is what? The he is the Lord. King of kings and the Lord of lords. Revelation chapter 19, verses 10 to 16. What? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, today. And yeah, I mean, you know, there is a sovereign king. You know, this a sovereign king. Heaven has already declared his glory, my dear friend. You know, Psalm 19, Sheila's favorite. You know, heaven declares. And here, heaven declares the sovereign king. You need him. And if you need this, this king, then, you know, he's going to decree. He's going to declare. You don't have to worry about, oh, well, what's going to happen next? Which virus is going to show up? What kind of calamities? Oh, my friends. He is totally in control. And if all you need is his presence, his presence break that uh, the, uh, stones, you know, tons of stones. My dear friends, you just see the Herod built the temple, right? right? I mean, you know, Solomon, later on Herod, one million pound, one stone. Mm -hmm. And how many donkeys died to build the temple? But any of the Lord is saying, go build the temple. Go build my temple. That's why in 153 fish speaks about the nations. We need to go. This grass network is going to go all over the nations to proclaim Jesus Christ is the Lord. 153 plus nations have to hear whether you like it or not. Because, you know, the Lord says bring them all together. Otherwise, you know, drag net, vicious net, cruel net is already. Sheila read that. Go read that again. And, you know, my dear friends, anyhow, you know, we'll continue our journey. And happy Easter to everyone. I have a good prayer to my brothers and sisters in Egypt and uh, all over the world. You know, we we'll love you guys. And thank you for having us. Thank you and again. Sheila is ready now. My dear ones, Jesus is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes. As we are going to be proclaiming Jesus to the nations, please uh, pray for us. And yes. continue sending your prayer and praise report. See you in the next segment. God bless. God bless everyone.